Insight. After four weeks on the road and a sandstorm, we're heading to another site for a two-week holiday. Looking at it. It's here on the right-hand side, so take this slip road. Sand, I guess. Yeah. A 10 minute walk from the site, and we've reached the sea and the Mediterranean. No sé que tú ves en mí, mi amor. Ya no dejes de mirarme. Ya me gusta quien soy Contigo me siento en control Eres el balance en este mundo poco humor Se volvió ese chico que hablo en mis canciones Esas madrugadas y hermosas conversaciones Se volvió ese chico que quería ver otra We watched further on the beach from, from the port and this is what this town's famous for, is these brightly coloured buildings that you can see behind me. It's uh, very nice down here, nice and flat to walk on. Plenty of restaurants, plenty of places to get something to drink. Uh, palm trees on the beach, the sun's shining, the seas and the waves crashing against the, uh, the beach. Couldn't ask for much better than that today. <laughs> It's a lovely place to sit here, isn't it? It's a nice place to sit here, watching the world goodbye, sun shining, blue sky. Fantastic, loving it. Yeah. So what's the Roman in? What's the Roman thing, Imperium and well, Forum? What's the Roman history? There's a big Roman history with the port around here. There's a shipwreck just out at sea that was from, I think it was something like 67 AD. And when you look in the actual village itself, or the town itself of Villa Yayosa, I'm not sure how you say it, I'm sure someone will correct me. There's a lot of Roman walls, Roman ruins and everything, so hence, the um, Alicante Imperium and the names of all the streets on the site are all linked to the Roman links of um, the actual port and the Roman ships and everything else that came here in the um, early AD centuries. Well it's still raining in Spain <laughs> and we're doing what the only thing available to us, we've gone out drinking and eating in a bar in the rain. Be pleased to know we still got shorts on well, because we're English yeah. and we're still going for it. Yeah. How's the cab sap? This is very, very nice. This is a nice wine. I'm quite enjoying the view and watching the rather large waves crash against the rocks. And as our entrecots arrive. Yeah. Wow. Gracias. Yes. Okay, thank you. I like it that. Gracias. Gracias. Thank you. Good morning. We're at the front of the Alicante Imperium where we've been for the last few days. There's been a break in the weather, it's stopped raining. We're going to get, uh, we've got our walking shoes on and we're going to walk to Benidorm. It's a place that Martin's never been to. Um, I last went, um, I think, in 1987. Uh, before I left school, so I'm sure it's changed in the good 35 plus years since then. So we're going to go have a walk and uh, see if it's all it's cracked up to be. Interesting journey. A bit slippy on the rocks up there. Well, yeah, I think that's due to the amount of water we've come down the last couple of days. But and the mud. Beautiful. Let's have a quick look round and show you. Yeah, we just got to go down there. 
down this bit of a path and then round there and up the other side and up and over that coastline and we'll be there. The flag behind us tells us that this is a naturist beach or a nudist colony, call it what you like. No good to us, we're from Yorkshire. We've got nowhere to put his wallets if we take his clothes off. We'll keep going, I think. It's not until you come and explore the area that you realise how much history there is on this coastline. Here, right on the cliff edge, is the Watchtower of Anguilla that was staffed or manned by three soldiers and a small cannon and it was here to put off smugglers and bandits. This is the seafront at Benidorm, the Ponyente Beach. Love Benidorm, hate Benidorm. People, it's a bit marmite, I think. But one thing you can say is that it's got a couple of fantastic beaches. I have to confess, if you'd have told me I'd been in Benidorm, yeah. and I probably laughed at you. an absolutely brilliant day uh, just shy of 16 miles all along the coastal path to um, the old town in Benidorm for lunch uh, met up with some uh, some people we know from Instagram and on uh, YouTube and we've come back Tracy from a, Yorkshire Motorhomes yeah, Tracy from Yorkshire Motorhomes that was brilliant you know, just happened to be in Benidorm yep. at, this, at this time which was good yep. so that was great we've met up with we met up with Tracy uh, walked back to the site a couple of beers because I think we deserve it now back for some tea and yep. some uh, relaxation. Poppy's giving up, she insists on being carried. Yes, Poppy's being carried, she's turned into a princess. Yeah. <laughs> Time to get back. Bye. Good morning. Well, the clocks go forward and according to all the weather apps, and they all agree for once, the weather in Spain is going to turn today. So how's your coffee? Coffee tastes fantastic. Can't beat it from the traditional cafetiere. Good afternoon. For the first time in about three weeks, the sun is shining. Can you see the orange trees and the lemon trees behind me? The smell is absolutely fantastic. We're making our way today, or this afternoon, down to the town of Villa Hayosa, which is the nearest town to the Alicante Imperium where we've been staying. 
we're going to find, hopefully, the th one of the starting routes, or the third starting route for us, of the Camino de Santiago. Now if you've watched our vlogs before, you'll know that this journey started in Canterbury, which is one of the famous pilgrimage routes. And we went to, after that, on our way through France, we went to Saint-Jean-Pied-de-Port, Saint which is the start route for the Camino Francaise. And here, in Villa Hayosa, in the town, in the, one of the plazas, is a starting route where, hundreds of years ago, the first pilgrim, pilgrims crossed the sea, came to Villa Hayosa, and started the, I think it's a, something like 1180 kilometre pilgrimage to Santiago to Compostela. Now, if it all goes well on this journey, we'll be making our way, or one of our final stops before we return home, will be to the cathedral in Santiago, where it's uh, tradition has it all that the, the bones of the Apostle St. James are buried. So we're on our way now to see if we can find the starting route. Mission accomplished. We've made our way to the Plaza Generale Tat or something like that. And we've found the beginning of another route of the Camino de Santiago. So there we go. You've got the sign of the beginning of the clamshell and the um, orange, these yellow arrow that points you in the direction and it tells you that in 1128 kilometres you'll find yourself in Santiago. And it's also the beginning of the Came del Pex a Alcoy and that is the fish route to Alcoy. And that is the route that was taken by fishermen would go there to take their wares and they would bring back um, other goods that they'd made in trade and bring them back to Villa Hayosa. It's so much easier to explore when the sun's shining. Behind me are some of the big city walls from the 16th century that were built to keep pirates and smugglers away from the town. We love urban street art and behind me is the picture of an old um, traditional fisherman mending his nets and the boys playing on the, uh, on the street and further down the multicoloured houses of Villa Hayosa. The beaches and sea along the Costa Blanca are absolutely stunning. All the way from Alicante down to Benidorm, the beaches are clean, they seem to be well looked after. The Costa Blanca, the white coast, and that's what it is. It looks like the, the sand is white. Villa Hayosa in Spanish means happy town. And on a day like today, you can see why. People are enjoying the beach, going in the sea, sitting and eating the Sunday lunch outside. And it's a really lovely place to be. Behind me, you can probably see that all the buildings are painted different colours. And that's because the, it's meant to be that when the fishermen are out at sea, they can spot the brightly coloured houses and make their way back to the, to the correct port. Now, fishing's not such a big industry out here anymore, but the people that own these houses have to keep them painted in good order, and also they can't change the colour of the houses either. 
Well, good morning, and it's goodbye to Alicante Imperium. Yes. Been a couple of good weeks this, oh, should I say about 10 days, actually. We are um, itchy feet, though, now. We want to get back we out on the road. Moving. Yeah, the sun's come and, out. We need uh, to move. This is a good place, and there's plenty of places that we've uh, wanted to see that we've lost because of the weather, really. Mm -hmm. So we've already made a, a booking for next year, uh, next winter trip, to mm -hmm. drop in here for a few days and, and uh, see what gives. But now we're pushing on, we're back on tour, we're back on the Camino Quest. We are on the Camino Quest. <laughs> but hey, we're pushing on. Martin out. Helen out.